everyone, welcome to our advanced kit instructional video for the paper circuits project. Um, before we get started, you're going to need your kit from the library, and if you don't have one of those, I'll show you what's in it in just a second. You're also going to want some scotch tape, some scissors, um, pen or marker or pencil, whatever you want to use to draw. Um, and you're going to want a piece of paper. I've got a piece of cardstock here. Um, that's going to be a pretty good thing to use. I meant to put some in your kits and I'm so sorry I forgot. So you'll need to grab some kind of paper. Printer paper would work. Notebook paper if you don't have anything else. Whatever you feel like using. Um, and then in your kit you have a little example photo. Um, you've got some copper tape. This is tape used. Um, this is actual real copper. Uh, make sure if you get this you're not just getting metallic colored tape, that you actually get copper tape because we need this to conduct electricity. You have a baggie with some LED lights and you have um, two little three volt flat batteries. Um, you don't want them to be much stronger than this because then it gets dangerous. So three volts, the kind that you would put in a watch, um, anything like that. These are the first thing you're going to use your scissors for. We're gonna cut it right out of there. Be careful not to cut your battery as you're cutting this out. If you need to get an adult's help, that's fine. Sometimes I need an adult's help with everything I do. All right, first thing we're gonna look at is our battery. Now, the battery, if you look close, let me see, you can see that little plus sign there on it, and then this side that's bumpy. So that plus sign, that's the positive side and the bumpy side is the negative side. That's going to be important later. Make sure you can figure out which side is positive and which is negative. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a very basic circuit so that you can, that you can use for just about anything. Um, I'm going to fold my paper in half. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, you'll see in a minute, but I'm only going to do it on half so that I can then have my light show up right here. First thing I'm going to do, and you can trace this out if you want really straight lines. I'm not super uh, attached to having super straight lines in my circuit, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But the first thing I'm going to do is put on my copper tape. And you're going to need two kind of runs of copper tape, one for the positive and one for the negative. See, I told you that stuff was important. So first thing we're gonna do is kind of measure out some of this. And I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna lay this side down first. This is going to be my negative side. You don't want any breaks or gaps in your tape because um, this copper tape, believe it or not, because it is pure real copper, will conduct electricity just like a wire would. Um, it also, as you can see, kind of squiggles up like that, so be careful. I'm gonna have this going almost all the way to the corner there. You'll see why in a minute. And if it gets super tangled up like that, you can always stop it. Um, here's the thing, now I've got that. I need my next piece of tape. The um, sticky side isn't quite as conductive 
as the top, the non-sticky side. That means it won't um, show, it won't transfer electricity as easily. So what I'm gonna do is fold this over right here and I'm gonna stick this so that there's a little bit of sticky and a little bit of not sticky, like half and half overlapping my line here. And then next time, instead of peeling it all free, because that wasn't working well for me, I'm going to make it go like that. So see the top is still touching. I'm gonna fold a little angle there, and then I'm gonna fold so it goes forward a little ways. Ta-da! First bit. Now I'm going to start laying down my second bit of copper and then we're gonna stop for a minute and I'll show you why. I left a nice gap there. That gap is for my light. And you can make your gap anywhere on the paper that you choose and you can make your, put your battery and therefore your switch on any part of the paper you choose. It's really up to you. And now we're going to pick an LED. I'm just gonna use one of these plain white ones. And we've gotta talk about positive and negative again. So on the LEDs we gave you, you can see that one leg is a little bit longer than the other one. That's on purpose. So this leg here, this longer one, that's your positive. And the short one's the negative. So I'm gonna take those legs and I'm going to bend them outward so that they point away from each other. And if you remember from when we started putting the tape down, I said this was going to be my negative side of my circuit. So I'm gonna put my negative leg of my LED onto my negative side of my circuit and tape it down. And I'm gonna put the positive leg of my LED onto the positive side of my circuit. That might actually be too far away. We'll give it a shot. And if not, I have some ideas about how we can troubleshoot that. And we tape those down. Um, when you tape it down, be careful because you need the legs of your LED to be on the conductive part um, so only put the tape over the top. Don't like wrap things in tape. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna make another corner. So to make the corner, remember I fold it away so we've got unsticky side touching unsticky side, and then I fold it down. Oops, and I broke my tape again. Be careful, the tape is delicate. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to fold this down so that I have an unsticky bit and a sticky bit. And I'm going to overlap this a little so that the unsticky bit is lying on an unsticky bit. And I'm going to keep this going. And you can always angle this a little bit too. Um, gonna keep this going down into the corner of my piece of paper and this is where I'm going to make my switch over here my on and off switch now circuit as the name implies means circle it means you've got negative flowing and you've got positive flowing and they meet so when you're putting your piece together, we're gonna put our battery here so that the negative touches the negative. And what you can do carefully, you can glue that down once you're confident in where it is, as long as your glue is at the edges and you've still got a space for it to touch that um, 
plain part of your circuit. Ooh, I did that off screen. Okay, see how you've got the gap there? You want the gap. You want the negative side of your battery on the negative end of your circuit. And then we're gonna close the gap, complete the circle, complete the circuit. And that should turn our LED on. So before I do that, I'm gonna just fold my corner like this so that when I push it down, it will touch that battery. And something has gone wrong. Oh, wait, there it is. I have to push pretty hard. But ta-da! See, I just fold that down and my light comes on. Da! So the positive side here, I make sure that when I fold that, it touches the positive side of the battery. Oop. It touches the positive side of the battery and the positive uh, and the negative side of the battery touches my circuit over here. Ta-da! So then on the outside, what you can do is um, you can cut a hole for your light or you can use thinner paper where you know that it's going to um, you know that the paper is going to sorry I'm still playing with my light here because I think it's so cool <laughs> um, so you can do it so that you know that the paper is going to, the light is going to shine through the paper I'm gonna kind of just punch my light there through my paper make myself a little drawing I'm gonna make myself a little circle that says press here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this side and I'm going to kind of tape the front onto this folded corner so that when they press there that's where it makes the connection with the battery. Oh, I did it in the wrong spot. Come on, battery. You worked so well before. All right, well, I had it working. I might have to do a little bit of troubleshooting with my circuit. I might have created a disturbance in my connections. Or I might have the battery in the wrong spot. Who knows? Certainly not me. But I can draw a little picture. I'm gonna draw a little light bulb. That's not a very good drawing of a light bulb, but you get it. And I'm going to draw a little guy below my light bulb. And he's happy and he's saying, bright idea. There we go. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong now. And when my circuit works, aha! I figured it out, you guys. So my, it looks like the legs of my LED are not firmly touching the circuit. So I needed to tape those down a little bit more securely. And now, yeah, now that's reliable. So now when I fold this back over and they press on the press here, ta-da, bright idea lights up. And you can do more complicated stuff than this. Um, there's the really cute picture on your idea board of the um, the two lights in the robot's eyes. And she presses on his tummy 
to make them light up, you can do that. Um, what you need to do is run basically two different stripes to light up two lights. Um, and if you search paper circuit on the internet, um, you can find lots of tutorials for how to make more complicated ones than the one I've just showed you. But the basic things to remember are You've got your positive side, your positive side and your negative side. You've got your positive side and your negative side, and your short leg is po negative, your long leg is positive, and as long as all of that stuff lines up, you've got an electrical circuit, a complete electrical circuit that lights up. I hope you guys have a lot of fun playing with this. I sure am having a ton of fun playing with mine. And I will see you next time. Bye.